Hello! In this video, we will learn how to create a program, text the user to explain how the program works, store a random integer into a variable, store a value into a variable, create a while loop, request data from the user, use an if-then-else-if -if statement, and display information to the user. We will be writing a guess the number I'm thinking of game, where the TI Inspire handheld will pick a number and you, the user, will guess the number. Let's begin by selecting number one, new, number nine, add program editor, and number one, new. The name of our code will be game. And then we'll tab on down and select OK. We are now in the body of our program. Now we need to text the user to explain how the program works. Menu, input output, text is number five. We need the quotes. Guess a number from one to ten. Enter. We now need to store a random integer into a variable. We will do that by going to the catalog, jumping to the R, and scrolling for random integer. Random integer works as follows. Lower bound, comma, upper bound. If we were doing it for more than one turn, we could put in the number of trials. I'll select it. And we want to put in 1, comma, 10, close parentheses, store this into our variable. I'll select N for my variable. I'll press Enter. We now need to store a value into a variable. This is going to be for the guess. 0 store into our guess variable, I'll use g. Enter. We now have two variables, one for the number that the calculator selects and one for the user's guess. We are now ready to create a while loop. You can find while under menu and then number four, control, and while is number six. The game guess my number is played until the guess is equal to the number selected. So the while loop will work while it's not equal. So while g does not equal n, I need to request a guess from the user. Menu, number six, input, output, number three, request. I'll use quotes, control, multiply to get the quotes, and I'll type in guess. Question mark, I'll press the little question mark button, select it, I'll go outside the quotes, I'll put a comma, and the variable my guess will be stored into is G. I'll press enter and we can now compare the guess to the number that was randomly selected by the calculator. We will use a series of if then else if statements in order to cover all the possible outcomes. I will go to menu number four control and I'll select number two if then and if. If our guess is equal to the number selected, we need to tell the user in a text message, you win. Enter. We now need an else if. Menu, number four, control, and the else if is number four. Else if your guess is less than the number selected by the calculator, we need to text 
the user too low. I'll press enter. We need another else if statement. Menu, control, number four, else if, if the guess is greater than the number, then text the user too high. As we have a while loop and an if then statement, we need to make sure that we have an end if and an end while. We are now ready to see this in action. Press Control R to run our game. Press Enter. Guess a number from 1 to 10. Zero is there because we had to have zero stored in for G. We'll put in five and press enter. It says too low. I'll press enter. I'll guess seven. I'll press enter. Too low. I'll press enter. Enter a guess of eight. Still too low. Press enter. Nine. Ten. You win. Let's play that again. You can just press VAR and go to Game. Guess a number from 1 to 10. I'll start with 5. Too high. My next guess will be 2. Too low. I'll go with 4. Too high. I'm guessing it is 3. You win. You can change the level of difficulty of this game by simply going back to the code and changing your text at the beginning from 1 to 10 and the random integer from 1 to 10. If you were to make this 1 to 100, that would increase the level of difficulty.